Good morning guys. I wanted to do a quick little video on my morning supplement stack because I've gotten some questions and I got a lot going on in the morning. So I start my morning with CLA plus carnitine. This is a great way to start your morning and to kickstart your metabolism to burning fat for fuel. I love the watermelon freeze flavor and I like it really cold. So I have a ton of ice cubes in here and I just do one scoop in the morning. This is great if you're doing like a fasted cardio workout or a workout in the morning where you really don't get a lot of food in you. Um, I would pair this with the uh, best BCAAs with energy. I have that as well in the same flavor. And so you get your BCAAs, you get your energy, you're preserving your muscle mass from the BCAAs. L-carnitine is also an essential amino acid that works on helping you recover, helps your muscles recover as well as burning your fat for fuel and same with CLA. CLA is a healthy fat that kind of tackles your, um, your belly fat. And there is two grams of fat in this supplement from the CLA, so just track it. First supplement. Probiotic. I can't live without a probiotic. So, probiotics and digestive enzymes, if you're feeling bloated, these will save your life. If you're having trouble being regular in the bathroom, going to the bathroom in the morning, start, you don't need to eat anything before taking a probiotic. Take it as soon as you wake up in the morning. That's what I try to do if I can remember. I didn't this morning because I knew I wanted to film this for you. So I take, and a probiotic just helps your helps break down your protein, carbs, and fats just so they can digest easily. And same with digestive enzyme. This is the first time I've ever taken this one. It's Health Alliance Digesti Digestion Enhancement Enzymes. It doesn't matter what one you take. I've never taken this one before. Uh, serving size is two. And on the bottle, it says that you can take it with every meal. I don't do that. I just take it with breakfast and dinner. But if, if I am feeling bloated in the middle of the day with like my lunch, I will take that. And I, it helps me so much. I honestly, can't, I will not live without it. If I'm out, I will run to vitamin shop and just get whatever digestive enzyme there is. But in the description box for you, I'll put the brands and everything for everything that I take. So digestive enzyme and probiotic first always. I do take the digestive enzyme with food though. I'll take it after my breakfast. Then vitamin C, a thousand milligrams. It doesn't matter what brand. This is now brand. It's all the same. Don't spend a ton of money on it. I take two 1000 milligram tablets with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I take six a day. This helps with your immune system, keeps us healthy. Also very important that a lot of people don't know, this helps regulate our cortisol levels. Cortisol is the bad, hor the bad stress hormone that fucks us up. It slows our metabolism, it makes us tired and lethargic, it makes us want bad foods, it makes us hungry when we don't really, when we're not really hungry, it makes us think that we're hungry. This will help regulate your cortisol levels, your stress hormone. So two of these right now, because I did just have breakfast, and these are like, I'm gonna tell you my top ones first, the ones that I really do recommend, and then the ones that are just extra that you don't need to take, but this is necessity. Fish oil. Any brand will do. Don't spend a lot of money, it's literally all it's the same. I mean, I guess there's better qualities versus not, I, I don't care. It's all the fucking same to me. I take three a day, one with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This helps with brain, heart, joints, everything. 
brain, heart, joints, skin, nails, like so much, so, so good. And then my other one that I say is a necessity, vitamin D3. This is Carlson brand, 5,000 I use, I take two, so 10,000 I use. The reason I take two is because my doctor told me to take two. Brian, two years ago, was really, really sick with the flu, influenza, strain B or something, I don't remember. He was really sick. I could not miss work. I couldn't get sick. Went to the doctor just in case to have her check me and tell me what to take. She told me vitamin D3, take 10,000 IUs, and that will make your immune system, like, working at an amazing level and speed and will really help not get you sick. So I do not miss this ever. I constantly take two, two 5,000 IU, so 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 a day and I don't get sick. Whenever I miss it and I don't bring it when I travel, I do get sick always. So every day, take it. Those are my essentials. I am deficient in potassium, which is extremely important for heart health, and I do cramp up a lot in the gym. When I supplement with this, it does not happen. I'm also an, I'm anemic, I'm deficient in iron. So I take one of these, one of each, in the morning, as well as biotin. It's not essential, but let me tell you, when I say that I have seen a difference in my hair, skin, and nails ever since being consistent, Country Life Biotin, 10 milligrams. I take, I take one a day, and my nails are naturally very thin. My hair grows like crazy now, my face is cleared up. I love this stuff. Magnesium, which I've never taken before. I did take a multi-mineral pill, this was in it, but someone told me that this helps with stress and anxiety, and I just, just started taking this. I take two in the morning. Vitacost brand. I get the majority of my vitamins and minerals on vitacost.com. Brian used to work for Vitacost. It is kind of like Amazon in a way. You can get supplements, pills, baby products, household products, food, uh, pet products, all on Vitacost at a cheaper price. So I really do get a lot of my vitamins from Vitacost.com. So check them out if you want to save some money. So I'm going to do a what's in my gym bag because I just got a new gym bag from Alphalete and I want to show you what's in my gym bag. I had a request from Leslie. She wanted to know, what do you even keep in your gym bag? Why do you got such a big gym bag? And I'm going to show you exactly what I have in my gym bag. So come on. All right, what's in my gym bag? Let me move back a little bit. This is my new rug. Oh, I love it. We got it from Overstock. Over, I love Overstock, I always forget about it. And my mom is like obsessed. So she reminded me, go on Overstock, look at rugs. And then we found this one, I love it. It just makes the room. But I got a new gym bag from Alphalete and I love it and I haven't filled it up yet because I've been waiting to do this video. Oh my God, you guys, I could fit in this. Bailey could fit in this. Right now, oh, I am using a Fitmark meal prep bag as a gym bag. Bailey, you wanna help me? Because my gym bag, <laughs> my gym bag had a full shaker cup of BCAAs and I ruined it. So I have been having to use this like meal prep bag as my gym bag. All right, I have a ton of bands. So this long band, I do like good mornings or like um, like hip thrusts almost. Like I'll put this on a machine and do like hip thrusts. I will show you, it's hard to explain. But this big band you can do a lot with. Now these bands, I have smaller bands that come in different strengths. And I have this little drawstring baggie to keep them all in. But this is the one I really do use. It's the heavy one. 
And then there is an extra heavy one that's black that I don't really use that often because I have this slingshot mark though slingshot which is a really hard like super hard resistance band like i can't even and i will put this over my like knees when i'm doing leg press um i've also used it for like smith machine squats it's really really hard so i don't do like side steps with them because i like to keep my volume really high i like to do like 20, 20 side steps on one leg, 20 on the other. And so this is what I do my side steps with. Also have this. All of this, I keep in my gym bag at all times. So with the handles, I will do bicep curls with these. I will pull and go like this for like a rear delt movement. Um, I will do side walks on these. This is my favorite way to do a side step. I will go like this twist it and then just walk from side to side awesome it burns like a motherfucker wrist wraps rogue fitness wrist wrist wraps brian got these for me for christmas and they help on my shoulder days i don't train i don't train chest um, i do have implants so i don't train train chest but for shoulders if i'm doing heavy dumbbell press heavy shoulder press standing military press any presses i will use my wrist wrap or um, also for squats i have i haven't recently actually because my wrists have gotten a lot better but i used to put this around my wrist for squats because when the weight gets heavy you're bending your um arms back and it hurts versa grips you guys oh my god okay versa grips these are different than wrist wraps you put these on, they go around your wrist, and you put the bar, you put this around the bar so it grips the bar. So you're holding it like this and the bar is inside. And this just helps with your grip strength. So for walking lunges, for dumbbell Bulgarian, um, uh, Bulgarian split squats, Romanian deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, anything like that with legs where you're holding onto a dumbbell for an extended period of time, this helps so much because it you can go heavier, but you fit you can't because you can't grasp the weight for so long because then your um, hands start to get tired and tingly and fall asleep. So this will help also with back exercises like lat pull down. I don't care about my grip strength for lat pull down. I know that I can pull heavier weight and my back can handle heavier weight, but my, my hands give out. So this really helps with rows and pull downs, all of that. I have a leg ankle strap for when I do like cable kickbacks, which I don't do very often. They're not my favorite. There's so many other better glute exercises out there. So Callie is just all over my gym bags. Mm. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I have this little Tupperware of chalk. It's usually a bigger piece of chalk. Can you even see it in there? It's so tiny, but I use it all the time. I just have to go and get chalk, but I always have chalk, always for deadlifts, um, squats sometimes if I'm sweating and the bar is falling off my back. I always will bring chalk with me because I like to deadlift with chalk to work on my grip strength. That is one lift that I do want my grip strength to be strong at. I don't want to use wrist wraps for that. So chalk, my headphones. I have Bose headphones that I'm obsessed with. They cancel all the sound out. They're big, they're comfy. I bet you that's Brian. So I always have an extra pair of the white Apple headphones that I just will keep. I don't even keep them in this case because there has been times where I would keep my extra headphones in this case and I would forget the case at home because I was charging my headphones and then I'm without headphones and the workout sucks. So, ladies, tampons, just, you know, for emergencies. 
and I always have a jug of some type of aminos, BCAAs, always, because I never know if I'm going to be feeling really like exhausted during a workout or if I'm not gonna go straight home after my workout, if I have to run to the grocery store and I'm not gonna have food, I wanna make sure I have aminos. So right now, what I have in here is Best Aminos. These are my favorite for post-workout because it does have glutamine in the blend, which for some reason, no other amino. <laughs> Best aminos, check them out. Blue uh, Arctic ice, it's like blue raspberry, so good. So I'm gonna keep these always in my gym bag because I oh I prefer these post workout over anything else. My animals are going crazy. So that is what I have in my gym bag. I think I covered it all. I don't wear a belt. I don't like belts. I should wear a belt. Everyone tells me because I'm going really heavy in my squats and deadlifts, but. I feel like I can't breathe and I really should practice. So that's gonna be something I wanna work on, seeing if I can get a belt. But ugh, I don't know if I have abs right now. I just had a huge breakfast. But I really give a lot of my muscle credit in my abs to not wearing a belt actually. Um, the core strength that I have developed on for, from my squat and deadlift from not using a belt this is, I really give so much of that not wearing a belt to the reason why I am eating so much food and still have abs. So if you want abs, try to work on your core strength with like your with your squat and your deadlift and just really keep your core tight and that is like a total body workout. It's fucking amazing. So that's what's in my gym bag. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just quick little video of my morning supplement routine I'm gonna rel I'm probably not gonna relax let's be honest I got some work to do but <laughs> so cute. all right guys give the video a thumbs up if if this isn't the cutest thing ever See you next time.